<laughs> so the, the main reason why you decided to do to build the bell housing yourself was uh, time and cost. Yeah. Well, is it made out of the same materials that it otherwise would have been had you? Uh, we were going to cut it out of aluminum and get all fancy with it, but it really don't need it. You know what I mean? So and what that, is the material And that would have been expensive. It's just steel. If you were to guess, how much more weight is this new bell housing made out of steel adding than one that would have been out of aluminum? Eight pounds. How long has Brian been working on this? Like Too long. He's been here for days. Weeks. Every minute since you have left, since you were last here. Okay. How many hours would you say you spent on this? I don't know, like two hours. Two hours? That's it. On on making the whole. Were, were the the horseshoe and the out other two pieces also machined, or did you make those? Junior cut those out. Yeah, Junior cut them. Okay. I just came around. Oh. Did his job. Oh. You can't be out here. I see. I was, I was giving you more credit, thinking that you actually cut some of this stuff. No, I've been actually working on this. You should, dude. You're you're a terrible salesperson. We just got this back this morning. Where was it? Uh, it was at the machinist because he's got a bigger lathe, lathe and stuff, better equipment than we do. It's just bigger, so I had to make it true because it's got to be perfect. Mm -hmm. I want. When we put these together, and the, sh the tranny and the shaft, they have to line up perfectly. So, um, I'm gonna cut the square out right now on it, because you need a, a, a little viewing window so that when you put the shafts together with the coupler, you can set the set screws from underneath the car. And um, I'll clean that up, and he can start <coughs> tacking it together. Welding it. Oh. Yeah. I was hoping to have it done by today, but the machinist had that pipe for the last two days. So we got kind of, got kind of screwed on that. I'd probably do some better tacks than that. It's going to be a lot of weight on here. Dude. We're going to mount it up right now? Probably at some point, yes. Now, just to make sure that I'm following, you're tacking it right now just because you don't want to permanently affix anything because you want to be able to mount it to make sure that there's not any minor adjustments from like those mounting plates to the tube part. So, yeah. Yeah. Where, where did I go wrong? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of, yes. Yeah. I just want to make sure it all lines up. There you go. Now uh -huh. you're starting to piss me off. Back here, it's room. Carrying me all fucking day. <laughs> Is that a good one? <laughs> yeah? Thank you. That's probably fine, because that's where all the weight's going to be pulling. Because this is the bottom. Okay? I want I want to tack it, just in case. You know, there's going to be a lot of weight. So. Yeah. 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 Is it tack? This is a bitch in tranny. It's a two speed with an internal hydraulic clutch. You knew that, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. Of course, Junior did, so it's not going to work. You know why it didn't fit the other way? Because it was on backwards. <laughs> no. See how that works? I see it it's spinning. up to the motor. So when this is spinning, this is spinning your yoke and your drive shaft and your rear yeah. end and your wheels. You just basically have to kind of rotate how the motor's on right now. Like I got to rotate all, all yes. one counterclockwise rotation type of thing. Or what you're like. Yes. Like I said, this one will just be a single shaft. You'll turn it around, it'll be the shaft out here. This will be a through. It'll come off the bottom. 
onto this one and then this one will drive this one. I'm gonna have to make a sleeve that goes over this shaft because it's too small. So I'm gonna have to do a sleeve with a with a keyway in it and then our pull in. You saw everything else yeah. will fit into it. So and we figured out these plates as well. Uh, these are being cut the front and rear for us. I was hoping to have those too. I was told I was gonna have them, but I haven't got them yet. So uh, so we have that all now. Once we get do what we do right now, bolt the, the bell housing up, get the tranny all square, we can do the tranny mount, figure out where we're putting the motors final, and then do the motor mounts on the chassis. So. And the uh, ultimate uh, material that's going to be the motor plates? No, well, motor plates, yeah. Are they aluminum? Steel. Yeah. Aluminum. Yeah, Got it. And then we're going to have to have the, the uh, collars made, you know, that connects them. And then the sleeve that goes over there because you got to broach them, and that's expensive. Broaching them, basically creating that keyway type of thing, got it. And then we got to create one with multiple broaches that goes over the transmission, the output uh, shaft, and the splines on the output shaft. So, yeah. Is there a reason why, like, the output shaft for the transmission? You've had the transmission for a long time, so you've already known what the, like, the, the broaching would be for that end, so to speak. Like, you already know what that, is there yeah. a reason why you haven't sent that out or why you haven't already done that? I, I don't know the size yet. I, I just want to put Meaning them up. Meaning the length. Yeah, the length. I don't want I want to put them up. I want to make sure I have what I want. I want to get an overall length. I want to see where this one ends, this one starts. Yep. You know what I mean? If there's a little space in between. Yep. Um, because it's important. You know, because once I slide it all together and once it bolts together, it's got to mate. So yeah. if it's too short, too long, and something hits, and it won't allow me to bolt the tranny up, and you can crack a bell housing in here. Or... <laughs> so it's all going to be perfect. But... Hang on, buddy. I love the technology. I love the, oh, <laughs> just did the joke. Bring it down, buddy. This is what I worry about, right here. <laughs> right under, right under here. <laughs> is batteries. God, is anybody ever, is a Tesla like this? It probably is. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's configured differently underneath the floor pan, but we pretty still much the same concept. They're under your ass. I know. And it's not supposed to be flush, right? Well, if we could have, I would have. But because of room, we had to make a cover, which will be fine, because the seat will still sit, your feet will still sit, your legs will still sit. This won't change driving position, no, though? No, it won't change your driving position. Does this, is it OK that it has no monitor? Does that I mean, mean it still says okay. red, so I'm still assuming it's recording. <clears throat> it still says red. <laughs> that doesn't mean, so now I'm talking to the camera, because it still says red. This is just another POV, people. Now I'm talking to it like a microphone. I am actually from the. 1800s. I just love tech.